Google just dropped an AI automation platform called Opal, and it's kind of insane. If you've heard of platforms like make.com, n8n, or Lindy AI, this is kind of similar, but a bit different since it comes from Google. Hi guys, my name is Omri from AI Academy, and today we'll be going over how you can build, edit, and share mini AI apps using Google's new tool, Opal. If you want to try it for yourself, we have a link down in the description, but yeah, let's get into it. So what is Opal? Basically, it's a platform that you can type in a prompt and generate some sort of automation where a user can either input something, then something gets generated, and then they get an output. So yeah, once you log in with your Gmail, you get greeted by this homepage right here. Here you have your apps that you created, and here you have some of their pre-made apps for you to test out. Now keep in mind, guys, this platform is connected to your Google account, so you can use it for anything that has to do with Docs and YouTube and different things like that. So as you can see, you can also remix these little apps that they have pre-made for you. So this is a city builder that they created, and and basically what you can do is press start right here. You have your preview and you also have your app. So your app is basically just a full screen version of this preview. Other than the preview, you have your console. So this will run through everything that happens within the app once a user submits a query. Here you have your edit input and you can basically type anything right here in order to edit this workflow that the AI created. And unlike make.com and n8n, these are created based on prompts and not based on you connecting different nodes. You can can do that manually, but you can also just type right here the edits that you want to make. So let's test this one out real quick. It says enter a game location. We can enter Paris actually. Let's just do that. Press send game genre 3D world. Let's do driving game. Then we press submit and it runs through the workflow. So as you can see right here, this is what's happening right now. And we could see that in the console too, it's doing a map search. But basically, yeah, I think it's getting details from maps and weather details in order to create a little world for us. So as you can see right Right now it's getting the weather details it's skipped over to this one and then what's going to happen it's going to go here to generate the game concepts so it's going to use the weather and everything that it's scraped in these nodes in order to move on to the next step and keep generating and now it's generating a video game so yeah as we can see it says generate game video so this is calling a vo3 instance so obviously you've seen the vo3 videos floating around the internet they look super realistic and super cool but now it's creating a video to convey what the video game would look like and once that's generated we'll be able to preview it right here very nice so now we have everything generated and this is the game concept so parisian drive neon nights an ultra realistic driving experience the game concept is an ultra realistic driving simulator set in a perpetually light rainy paris featuring slick cobblestone boulevards and wet asphalt reflecting the neon glow of shops and historic landmarks like the eiffel tower and the arc with detailed city layouts including the seine river banks i don't know how to pronounce this and dense parisian traffic navigating under the overcast humid sky that was a really long sentence. Next, we have our key art. So this is an image it's generated based on the concept for the video. And here we have our trailer for the game. So this is pretty much the trailer for the game. As you can see, it's a car driving a night in Paris. And honestly, if this was part of like Forza Horizon or any video game, I would probably play it. It looks pretty realistic and the map is pretty cool too. So yeah, this is just one of their preset ones. And I also made one that is pretty cool and useful for YouTube channels like this one. So this is the one that I created in in probably around 30 seconds. I gave it two different prompts, but basically I said, I want a user to be able to enter a YouTube channel link and then have AI analyze the channel, analyze the videos and the transcripts from those videos, as well as the titles, and then create three new video topics based on that input from the YouTube channel analysis. And then basically it creates three extra topics for a host of the YouTube channel to create videos about. And it's all based on what the AI understood about the channel. But yeah, as you can see, the output is basically the three transcripts right here. And these three topics are videos that our hosts would make. Like, I mean, I would make these in a heartbeat. And the transcript is also pretty good based on the videos that we make for the channel. Usually we have like a little bit of intro introducing what the video is about. Then we have an intro for the host. So when I say, hi guys, my name is Tommy from AI Academy. And then we have the tutorial for what we're trying to do and an outro. But yeah, it did it just by me uploading the link to our channel right here in this input box right here and then it created new transcripts so yeah let's run it back and i'll walk you through how it actually works so let's click out on our app right here and do it again we could click this button right here to start over so after clicking start you just paste in a channel link from youtube to the channel you're trying to make new videos for and press send and now the ai analyzes everything and you could check right here in the console what's happening in real time now it's doing its job based on this 
node right here and it's gonna take the information from here use it for this and keep going so as you can see right here in the preview it tells you exactly what's happening with the analysis and you can also share these apps with whoever you want you can basically just make it public just like this and then share with your friends share with whoever wants to use it you just copy the link and share it with them so yeah guys as you can see right now it generated the topics and the titles and the transcripts and then it will upload it onto an HTML preview and you could see right here it's generating that and there you go so it came up with three AI videos so let's see this one this sounds kind of cool obviously we're not going to use this terminology but basically it gives a good outline for what we're going to be talking about so comparing like LLMs talking about mid journey stable diffusion different editing softwares and kind of giving a tutorial on how to do what we're trying to show in the video so yeah I can just share it with anybody now and they can upload a link for a YouTube channel and just get video transcripts and ideas for it. So if you like NAN or make.com, this is another way of doing it. And you just basically type in a prompt right here, then it can create the first version and then you can edit it from there. But yeah, once you make a automation like this, you can change the name right here and basically use it whenever you want. And you can also go back. It's auto saves it for you. And even in two days, you can send it to your friends. You can use it in order to build different things. I kind of like this city builder one. This video is pretty cool. Honestly, if this was a video game, I would probably play it. I'm not even kidding. And let's see what other ones they have. They have video marketer, spelling bee, social media post, fashion stylist, generated playlist, learning with YouTube, turn your YouTube video into a quiz to help learn. Oh, maybe we should do that for our channel. Product research, obviously the city builder, a business profiler, book recs, and a blog post writer. But yeah, all you have to do is literally just press create new, type in a app that you want right here, and you have your app. So yeah, if you want to stay up to date with all the AI tools that are coming out in a crazy fast pace, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see me build any apps or showcase any other tools, please let me know in the comments below and make sure to like the video and I will see you guys in the next one.